and welcome back to the Adventures of Fearless Anderson and the Tenno Siege Alliance for Division 2 with the New York City Warlords downloadable content. Today I'm going to be taking you through the final section of my field research for Firewall Stage 1. Now for those of you that aren't sure what that means, let's go ahead and uh, take a pause and look at progression. I'm currently working on Firewall. Um, which uh, is one of the specializations that you can do in Division 2. This one will uh, ultimately result in your character being granted a flamethrower so that you can be the walking Zippo lighter. Now, uh, to get there, you have to go through several uh, areas of uh, stages, if you will, five stages total, where you're given specific uh, mission requirements and gameplay to, uh, to, to progress through to unlock. So we're going to work on uh, finishing up stage one today, which uh, results in uh, killing enemy scorchers. Now, I've already done the other sections, um, which were set enemies on fire. That happens easily throughout the game. And of course, up close and per uh, personal. Well, if you've got a shotgun, you're doing that already. That's where you have to kill enemies that are closer than seven meters. Super simple to do. So Last one, enemy scorchers. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some. Now, one of the easy ones um, is typically, you know, you, you're going to run into scorchers throughout the map. And basically any character that's carrying a flamethrower. Um, but I like any of the ones that are surrounding the areas where um, there's a lot of refuse and... Uh, biohazard because those were characters uh, those characters typically belong to those groups um, but they do a pop-up all over the place uh, for example Roosevelt Island which is a stronghold currently taken over on my map by um, Black Tusk I've unlocked that stronghold I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find some but first I'm gonna I'm thinking I am going to maybe attack uh, an enemy stronghold or control point. Um, the nest, for example, is a perfect location to find those, uh, those scorchers. It's probably going to be at least one of the named enemies and possibly a few others. So let's see what we can do. Alrighty, so I'm back at the safe house, known as the Archive. I'm going to be running this one solo, of course, uh, barring uh, any of my buddies from uh, Tennessee Siege Alliance from just randomly popping in and joining me. But uh, I'm running on hard, so, uh, so as to make it, you know, a little more challenging. And, uh, of course, running it on hard also speeds up your... Uh, your, your leveling and your progress. Now, I'm running today, uh, while I'm also looking through this, is Pestilence. Um, I don't typically run machine guns. Um, this is a, a variation of the um, actual assault rifle that's used uh, uh, in the U.S. military, U.S. Army, the Squad Automatic Weapon, or the SAW, also known as an M249. It looks a bit like that, maybe um, stolen from the... Uh, the M60 uh, era, which was the, the heavier version of what is currently being used. Um, you can see I already have an M249 in my uh, uh, my inventory below. Agent in now, the thing about the M249, I actually used this in real life when I was in the U.S. Army. So uh, it, it fires a little similarly. Um, typically, with those types of weapons, you... Uh, you don't just hold the trigger down and spray. You do short bursts um, as needed. But that's how I was trained on it. There are plenty of people who would probably disagree with me. You know, more lead down range, the better kind of thing. Sorry, my dog's going nuts. So let's get to it. So let's see if I can find any enemy scorchers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm heading over here. I'm going to try to take back this uh, control point, um, largely because A, I'm leveling things up, and B, it's just kind of fun. That's an element of difficulty to the game, having to, to bring these things back. And of course, it always uh, 
gives you that XP that you want for your uh, weaponry. So I'm going to sneak in a little closer. Once I get close enough, I'm going to call some allies, pop a flare, use my my uh, one of my weapons, and I'm going to just kill as many bad guys as I can. So let's see what we can do. Now the cool thing about the Pestilence, which is a really unique weapon uh, in this game, is that as you shoot uh, enemies, it starts to pass uh, a contagion around. It's almost like a weaponry that has a chemical agent on it, a sarin gas of sorts, um, and it starts to kill every enemy, and then it passes to the next enemy near him. So let's see what we can do. Uh, again, it's a level zero, so it's not super strong, but it's getting there. Here we go, let's do this. But you'll notice, even though I'm not shooting him, he's still taking damage, and that's the, the Saren agent of, uh, of the weapon. And I love this, because um, it's, it's, it is fairly unique. All right, my allies have come. I'm gonna go ahead and start advancing on their locations. Remember to aim for their weak points when possible. Because this game is, you know, not based entirely on reality. Alright, let's see. Who's it going to be? Ooh, anytime I can. Oh, shoot, I'm out of ammo for my... Uh... Ooh, you got a little wannabe... Uh... Uh, what, is, what was he called in earlier iterations of the game? He's got a big chungus, as we call him. But he was the, uh... Ow. That hurt. Oh, there's a Scorcher. Alright, that's one. Alrighty. We got us a... Yep. Destroyed our Chungus. As he runs from you, nothing a shotgun can't stop. All right, now we defend. Detecting additional hostile contacts. Where are they coming from? Oh, they're coming from over there. So let's take up a, a command position. load up on ammo real quick. Civilians in danger. Oh no. Civilians are in danger. I'm not seeing. Ah, it looks like they might be trapped in the in the building. So to get full control of the nest, you've got to kill all of the attached enemy uh, enemy combatants. Let's fight our way through. Ah, he's hiding over here somewhere. Up oh, there's one. Don't like that. Don't want to hug. Uh-oh. Identified. And let's do this. Better 
reload. Uh, let's get him with this. All right, and last bit, last enemy. All right, perfect. Nest captured. Always fun. Now talk to that control point officer because you want to donate your resources to the to the control points. Uh, it's not part of the firewall stage one, but it gives you some uh, some good XP typically. Oh, yep, there we go. Some. 1,555 XP. Always nice. So always do that. Um, you, you do or do not need to uh, accept any of the bounties that can come with uh, the resupply. A lot of the uh, same thing with uh, with running those missions with uh, with the you know from hostage situations where they'll tell you uh, about a a bounty. Um, ultimately really won't change too much of the gameplay it's just another bad guy however um i know for some people the uh the bounties have a tendency to glitch and kick uh the player from the game um so let's go ahead and keep on trucking let's check this real quick all right so currently i've killed one scorcher and we need to go find some more so let's keep on looking I'm going to go ahead and head over to Roosevelt Island just because uh, that whole area is filled with enemies. And let's see what we can find. Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead. And looks like my inventory is getting full. All right, so I've killed one Scorcher. It took me about 10 minutes. I know that there are areas of the map that are super simple to find them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep looking for them, but I'm not going to go ahead and keep streaming this uh, at the moment. But you've seen the basics of how that works. Now, ultimately, when I'm done, I'm going to check my progression and my field research. I've got nine more uh, enemy scorchers to find. I'm going to go ahead and dip from, uh, from this uh, particular stream just to show you that that is stage one. I'll probably start streaming uh, closer to the uh, end of killing all my enemy scorchers. And you can follow me then as I progress into stage two. Uh, Fields Anderson signing off. Be sure to share, like, subscribe if you already haven't. And uh, enjoy your day and happy hunting.